We end tonight in Webster, New York, a stone's throw from the Canadian border. A family there has turned a devastating medical diagnosis into a mission to help others. Kenneth Craig has the inspirational story behind Bella's Boombas. Two-year-old Bella Shore is getting around in ways her parents never thought possible. Uh-oh, now you gonna get me? Bella's homemade wheelchair is giving her mobility for the first time. She's just happy to be, you know, free to do what she wants. Turn around, Bella. Bella was born with spina bifida, a birth defect of the spine that has left her with no feeling below her knees. Everywhere we went, we had to carry her or put her in a stroller. Come on in. That's when Bella's great uncle got involved. Using a plan he found online, he constructed a wheelchair using a bumbo-like seat for kids, some tires, and a wooden board. As we saw her maneuverability and her freedom being coming out of her captive body, playing with the other kids, we decided that we would try to make chairs for other children. They spread the word on Facebook, calling the chairs Bella's Boombas, and it took off. In just a few months, they've received almost 200 orders. They've shipped wheelchairs to children in 40 states and as far away as the Philippines. They don't charge for the Boombas. Special needs families only pay the shipping a fraction of what it would cost to purchase a typical wheelchair. The smiles they see from children around the world make it all worth it. Be able to be independent, play with their other siblings, you know, go outside and play. It's just amazing. Go, baby, go. They say it's showing Bella there's nothing that can stop her. <laughs> Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Webster, New York.